Are you following your gut intuition? What your gut is telling you, that cringy feeling in your stomach, whether something good or bad is about to happen, or maybe you just get vibes. Well, stay tuned because in today's episode, we're gonna uncover just simple tips on how to always make sure to follow that feeling because sometimes we just fail to do it and then we wish we would have. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Jason Roselle, and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal. I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this. Are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. So many times people fail to realize the power that they have. We are more powerful than we think, and let me tell you, your gut simply never fails. But we choose to put it in the back burner just because we're thinking, wait a minute, I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking. We get the bejeebies because we're like, ugh. I don't know, should I do this? Should I not do this? Is this person really how they are? We tend to assume, we tend to overthink. But one thing I will tell you, your gut will never mislead you. Let me give you a quick story of what happened to me a little bit over a year ago. So I've been living in Los Angeles for over 15 years. Being in the uh, television industry, I noticed that I was thriving. I was doing all the things I came out there to do. Why and how? I'm an entertainer, right? I'm a coach, and I get to work with tons of celebrities on national television, giving them advice, helping them lose weight, or better their brands, their relationships with their food, their partners, the list goes on. I'm doing everything I love, but deep inside, I really did not feel fulfilled. I kept on telling my mom, I was like, man, Something tells me we got to get going. We got to get moving, right? All my friends were like, where the hell are you going to move? You're filming on national television every other week. It doesn't make sense. You've worked so hard to get here. And I said, yes, and I'm happy with everything that I've accomplished, but I want more. I may be happy, but I want more out of life, right? Los Angeles is a pretty empty place. It's a lot of facade. It's a lot of, oh my God, you do this? Oh my God, you can do this for me? Fake relationships. I'm not a fake person. I was contemplating moving to uh, Texas. I was contemplating moving back to Florida where I went to college. I kept on revolving in my head whys, the pros, the cons. But ultimately, I said, let me take a trip to Arizona. I took a trip, went on my own, I went, I discovered, and I said, wait a minute, this feels homey, right? This is still close to Los Angeles, right? I'm not filming every day, right? I'm not a news anchor. I don't need to be on set every day. And half of my work is on social media, right? Not just as an entertainer, but a celebrity coach to people online, all my platforms. And sure, if I need to fly out, Go to Los Angeles, New York, I do what I have to do. But I want it more out of life. I'm seeing, wow, everything's so clean, there's less traffic, there's no bums in every corner, the cost of living is lower. Ultimately, after three days in Arizona, I went back to Los Angeles, I called my friends, I talked to my mom, I said, you know what, we're getting the hell out of here. Mind you, this is pre-COVID. This is like five, six months pre-COVID. Everybody and their mother, including my mother, thought I was out of my mind. They're like, it doesn't make sense. You've worked so hard, Jason. you worked so hard. I want you to pause for a second. I want you to think of things that you've done in your previous life. And I don't mean previous life as in 
before this life that you're living, but accomplishments that you've achieved and then you made a drastic change or a decision because you followed your gut, right? And I want you to share in the comments, could have been a good decision you made or a bad one, it doesn't matter. Needless to say, it's all a roadmap, right? We have to go through different things, good or bad, to discover what makes us happy. I packed and packed for six weeks and made the move to Arizona. Started landing different television shows, covers of magazines. I'm thriving. I'm like, oh my God, best decision ever. But still, I was getting lots of calls for different shows. They're like, oh my God, we need you right now. And I was like, oh my God, why did I make this decision? I started fighting. I was like, damn, my gut instinct. I followed it, but now I'm, am I kind of regretting it? Fast forward hits March, right before my birthday, March 13th, and we are hit so hard with COVID. Coronavirus hits, and at this point, things, as you know, life just changed dramatically, right? And that's when it hit me really hard, following my gut instinct, but it was getting a call from my own mom and saying, what in the name of Lord, what brought you to this decision? Was it this? Because this is what it's all summing up to. And I'm like, I'm thinking my, to myself, I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, Jason, you, you listen to me, right? You gotta listen to yourself. And the reason why I'm sharing this story with you is because so many of my clients that I work with, life coaching, wellness coaching, and the list goes on, but predominantly mindset coaching, we work harder than smarter. We overthink and we tend to not follow our gut. You gotta trust what's inside of you. You got so many more powers than you think. I made the best decision making my move. There's no way in hell I could have afforded, continued paying almost $4,000 a month for rent. Okay, not only my gym studio, my home, etc. And Thank the Lord I followed my gut intuition. And the reason I wanted to share this with you is because you, my friend, watching or listening right now, have to make sure you are following your gut. All right, are you with me on this? So whatever things are going on in your life, relationships, your partners, your friends, Right? Maybe you're not getting along with the uh, get, getting uh, along with your sister-in-law, mother-in-law. You got to do something about it. Follow your gut. Right? Make the decisions that make you happy. Because I can tell you, I was happy. I've been happy for many years, but I wasn't fulfilled, and I'm thankful that I followed my gut intuition. So I hope you enjoyed today's message. The story I I was comp compelled to just share with you. Because I feel a lot of times, especially my clients, when they're like always overthinking and they fail to commit, it was a humongous, humongous decision for me to give up living in Los Angeles where I built my brands, my work. But I live my life fearless and I want you to live your life fearless and follow that gut intuition that's inside of you. Don't doubt it. It is always right. And if something didn't come about it, what you consider right, right away, don't worry. That's part of the journey. It's all going to make sense. I hope this inspired you to share your story. Leave me comments. Leave me questions. Most importantly, keep it caliente. I'll see you on the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.